G'day, I'm Mark. Today from The Shed, we're going to talk about air compressors and how you can set them up. I've spoken about the many different types of compressors. Now I'd like to talk to you about the belt drive versus the direct drive. Over here, we have a motor and a pump that's separate, which is driven via a belt out the back. Now, this allows you to have a bigger pump, runs a lot slower. The advantages of that is it will produce less water condensation in the tank and your lines, and this will actually last longer in the long run. Over here, we have the direct drive. Now, the direct drive has a motor that's coupled directly to the pump. There's a few disadvantages of this because the motor is running at full speed, which makes the pump run at full speed. It produces a lot more heat and will actually water condensate in your lines a lot more than a belt drive system. So, ain't ideal for running air tools, um, but very handy to have around the home. Every compressor should have a filter regulator just like this one does. Up here is the dial that regulates the output pressure used for different tools and jobs. Now down below is the water trap, which takes out the moisture from the compressor before it reaches the line. There are several ways you can set up your air compressor and airline system. The direct method, just like this. Air travels through the filter regulator, up through the line, direct into the retractable airline hose. If you want a better system, run an airline hose all the way along the back of your workshop and have your filter regulator further away from the compressor. This will give you drier air. The best system of all is the pilot air system, the air delivery system. The air travels all the way around the piping, aluminium piping, which actually keeps the air cooler. You can drop these lines anywhere in your shed and have them custom fitted to what you require. With this system, it enables you to add filter regulators and all the outlets, just like we've done in this shed in all four positions. A quick word on maintenance. For many trouble-free years of service from your compressor, there are three things to maintain. Oil, oil needs to be changed regularly. Air cleaners, on this model there are two. They will need to be cleaned out. Last but not least, Water does condensate in the tank and it's simply removed by undoing this nut and letting the water drain. So that wraps up our series on air compressors. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll talk about another shed essential. Yeah.